So hey guys, this is a bit different. If you haven't been on our channel before, my name is Barry and obviously my partner's Karen, but she's not in this video because I'm going to do something a little bit different. We asked the question, if you're looking to move to Spain on our Facebook page, the actual question was, if you are in Spain, would you still make the move, even though today with the experience that you have? Now, if you haven't been on our channel before, we moved to Spain in 2020, right in the middle of the pandemic. And if it's the first time you've been on our channel, if you want to see the early videos, if you go to here and click videos, and then you click on oldest, and that will take you to our very first channels. As you could see back in 2020, August 2020, when we first came to Torre Vieja. And then obviously the empty airport was one of the strangest things that we've ever seen. And then sort of our life at the beginning, as we moved to Spain and to the Costa Blanca region. Obviously, first of all, we moved down to play a flamenca but we'll go into that in later videos so if you haven't been on the channel before feel free to go through all the videos on the channel so let's jump into the main question the question was if you are in Spain would you still make the move even today with all the experience that you have particularly or if you are looking to move to Spain even now after some after Brexit because it's basically it's a lot difficult it's a lot more difficult to move to Spain now I mean, if I really think back to, I mean, me, Karen and I both worked abroad when we were in our early 20s. And that's one thing that Brexit has caused a problem with. If my daughter, who's just left university, wanted to take a year out and come and work in Spain for the summer, she now has to get a working visa. It's not just a case of going on a two-week holiday and saying, do you know what, I'm just going to stay here for the summer and you're going to be able to work in a bar. If you're from the UK... And it's just the exact same if you're from Australia, if you're from Canada, or if you're from America. You know, it, it's not just a UK thing. This happens from people all around the world. It's just the case now that after Brexit, that people are going to find it a lot harder. And one of the things that we want to do on this channel is make it a lot easier for people. So one of the questions we're going to ask right at the beginning is, would you like us to do a Facebook group where we can actually help people that are thinking about moving to Spain? So let's dive into some of the answers. As you can see, there's over 78 comments on the group about people looking to move to Spain. So the first one comes from Anna. She says, we are here and yes, absolutely. Which is really good, Anna. So the next one is Ken Clark. We moved here after Brexit, not a problem. Which is really interesting because you get a lot of people saying that after Brexit, you know, because of the non lucrative visa and things, that it's harder. But there's Karen Clark saying that we moved after Brexit and not a problem. We also moved after Brexit. All the hard work getting the paperwork together was well worth it. So that was Jean Hockey, if I've pronounced that name right. So Margaret Carmen went on to say, so relieved we moved before Brexit, couldn't afford to do so now. And that's one of the things that we found as well i mean if you look back to our channel we basically just jumped in the van and drove all our stuff here you know we did have things in place we had a plan we did plan for various different scenarios once we got here but sometimes the scenarios don't work out the way that you want when you move to a different country but then again you could say that when you move to a town within the uk or wherever it is you're from if you're from um you know the united states or if you're australia it's just one of those things when you move to another country everything doesn't happen the way you sometimes plan it anyway burno i'm not even going to try and pronounce that name hi barry we've lived here for 20 years and we're both old timers tried going back last summer three months now and we're back we lived in a village away from the coast no real traffic problems superb views good neighbors excellent medical facilities that's really good to hear, actually. It's good to hear that some people... I mean, I know that my my dad stayed in Tenerife for 14 years and he moved back to the UK in 2010 when we're, going to, we're in a bit of a recession anyway and, and he lost a lot of money on property, but he wanted to see his grandkids grown up. So that's one of the reasons that he moved back. And Emily went on to say, if we had waited until after Brexit, we would not have been able to afford to move here. We love it here. The kids love it too. They even enjoy the school much more than they did in the UK. That's really interesting, Emily. With the fact that the kids are integrating into the Spanish system and they don't it's not their first language, so they're having to learn and kids pick up the language so really easy. You know, a lot easier than us adults do. So the next one. Yes, I probably would. The lifestyle that we are able to offer our son is great. We visited the UK in November and February. It definitely reminded us 
that we made the right choice and they actually work in Gibraltar and Marbella so the next one couldn't come now if I wanted to as much as I wouldn't meet the new criteria so glad that we came before Brexit would never go back to even pre-Brexit Britain so that's a nice one that was Nigel uh, the next one is D no I wouldn't because 17 years after moving here I now have a grandson living in the UK I would rather be there seeing him more often nothing to do with Brexit more with missing family especially due to the Covid situation we totally get that D I mean that's one of the things that we totally get we, we miss our family lots the fact that we thought we'd be able to jump on flights and just you know just jump back to the UK and you know simple things like going to the football with my brothers you know going and seeing my family I've got a big family so it's going to see them going to see our daughters it's one of those things that it's people say that oh you made the choice to move to Spain we did but let's face it nobody expected travel to be in such a bad way for over two years now so yeah you know and then I was going that's why my father my father went back to the UK as well after 14 years to see the grandkids grow up so the next one just got my electric bill for the month 120 euros even though they were being frugal <laughs> well i think you know the what the price of electric is a lot here um but i don't know you tend not to use it in the summer we do have friends and if you haven't subscribed to their channel spanish homestead give them a look up as well because they actually live on a farm and they live with solar energy they are totally self-sufficient and they kind of live off grid a bit which is kind of cool so anyway as somebody else goes on and say UK electricity bills are up an average three or four hundred pounds. Wow. Going into autumn twenty twenty two. That's one of those things. So anyway, getting on, would people move to Spain? Absolutely yes, says Jenny Potter. We're here to stay. And someone else that moved, yes, I've gone negative anyway. Sorry? It's one of those things when you do a social media post. Anyway, another one. Karen moved in 2020. The best thing that we've... Best move we've ever made. Don't regret our decision whatsoever. We love living in Spain. And people and the lifestyle. That's really good. And there's... Who's this? Big Andy. Who's, uh, he's been in Spain for 14 years. Love it. Family visit with the grandchildren. So don't go back to the court in well wet, expensive UK. Even though vino has gone up to 80 cent a litre in supermarkets, we can cope. <laughs> 80 cent a litre. And the thing is, the wine will be absolutely fantastic there, Andy. The next one is Teresa Wilson. We came just before the end of 2020, well, October. But yes, would we do it again? Covid has played havoc with our visiting plans. It's done that with everyone. Um, yeah, do you know, that's one of the things that you have to, that nobody really thought about when they're planning to move to the UK, especially in the last couple of years, nobody expected this COVID thing to keep on going. So th another one, Howard Goldsmith, after 17 years, we rarely even spend two days per year returning to the UK before we were hankering to get home to Spain. If you have children, it's a wonderful country for them to grow up in. If you're retiring, then the climate allows you to enjoy your time far better. If you come to Spain to work, there are definitely hurdles. If you come to open a business, then the same rules apply. But the same rules apply in every country, as he goes on to say. I have never been here to invest in a business. That's one of the things. I mean, people that come to open up a business, I've opened businesses back home and it's never easy. You know, and people say oh, it's harder. But if you don't know the language and you are just targeting the tourist industry, you know, you're going to find any business hard. So you know it's one of those things there is negatives about coming to spain it is not all sun and shine and sea as you would see in our last video where it's been raining for a couple of weeks and gladly the sun is out today sunday the 27th of march you'll be glad to know i'll go out and do a little bit of shooting with the camera just to let you see anyway they've got an estate agent business all of them manned and many people have helped move to spain remarkably a few have returned to the uk that's interesting. I wonder how I need to get in touch with Andy to see how business is with people coming from the UK because I know that a lot of people that are moving to Spain or buying property in Spain just now are coming from the likes of Sweden, um, Norway, Denmark, you know, the Norwegian countries. They're big buyers in Spain just now. Anyway, Bobby Smith goes on to say, "Yep, still be here. Um, I might want to go to another area where it's not Little England. That's one of the things when you move to the coast. If you move to somewhere." 
um, like somebody that's close to us, play a flamenca down down the road. Um, you move there, and there can be a, a really concentrated lot of expats. And if you're moving to Spain to get the complete Spanish culture, if you want to integrate into the Spanish culture, if you want to move to Spain to like feel the real Spain, you might be better moving to somewhere that is a lot more populated. I know that I've spoke to um, a few people that are further down the coast in the last couple of days, and they love the lifestyle due to the fact that it's more Spanish and there isn't a big expat community. But that, it all depends where you want to buy. If you're buying somewhere for a holiday home, if you're only buying for a holiday home, you maybe want that expat community, that kind of lifestyle, those kind of pubs, those bars, where you can go and enjoy yourself and you get your live music and your bingo, etc. And you know, it's one of those things. It's what are you looking for when you're moving to Spain? Is it the, is it that type of expat lifestyle? You know, the place in the sun shows you and you know the the Brits living abroad type thing. Is that the type of program that you watch? Is that the type of lifestyle that you aspire to? Or are you watching this from a, a, another country, maybe you're American or wherever about throughout Europe? You may be watching this and saying, no, I just want a holiday home. So what is it you're looking for when you're moving to Spain? That's one of the questions that you need to answer. In the follow-up video to this video, we are going to be talking about, you know, things that you need to do before you even get here. Before there's lots of things, because of all the change... There's lots of things that you now have to do before you even get here. So look out for that follow up video to this. So anyway, uh, let's go on. Um, we'll scroll down. We've been coming to our house in Spain for 22 years. Just sold up last year. We regret it so much and miss being in Spain. That's very interesting. Why did you say why? Karen, if you're watching this video, I'll probably I'll reply to the comment on here. Um, just interested to see why you sold up and what were the costs like? Because I know there's a lot of taxes that you pay when you're selling a property in Spain. So I guess it's slightly biased weighed question as most people who couldn't make it work for them won't be members in here. Interesting replies though. Very interesting that James. I mean, maybe people are still in the group. I mean, there's one person in the group that they sold up after 22 years, but they're still in this group, which you could find on Facebook. Anyways, an interesting question. Being a widow of a certain age, it's nigh impossible to meet interesting or available men here. So I wouldn't have bought... I wouldn't have <laughs> It's suddenly turned into a dating site. Anyway, we'll move on from that one. Uh, my mother, my husband and I moved to Menorca in November last year. Be aware of taxes can be greater in the UK. It costs a lot more financially for us to live here. That said, we have a better quality of life. Uh, as the trade-off, we're glad to move to be fair. We knew... Uh, Menorca was not the cheapest place to live in Spain, wasn't you all the success in whatever you path you choose. Um, another one goes on to say, being in Spain 25 years and to be honest, never looked back, definitely made the right choice. We're not in a tourist area though, we live in land rural, which is really interesting. Moved just before Brexit says and Miller Lacey and still love it. Same here, wouldn't change the things. It's one of the things, when you do ask a question like that on this type of group, you probably are going to get a big expat community that are going to say yeah we love it and we've done it and you know even in our time in our short time that we've been here we, we, we know people that have went back for various reasons you know there's been a lot of people that, that didn't have their the documentation you know they weren't residents they weren't paying in the tax system so they've maybe had to go back there's lots of different reasons and yes it is a bit more expensive for tax but the way that we look at it is we are living our dream and the fact that we have the opportunity to be able to work from anywhere, um, it's one of the things that you should really be thinking about, and it's a lot easier to do it in this day and age. You know, in 2020, people were all, people had to work from home. You know, if you've now got that that possibility to be able to work from home, you know, it doesn't have to be Spain that you move to. You could basically move to anywhere in the world and work online, remotely. That's one of the good things about our life. Anyway, that's something that we might talk about in the future. So, been here for five years, loving it. And as you can see, there's lots and lots of comments. Moved to Spain because I speak Spanish and love the culture. I wouldn't let additional paperwork get in the way of my dream. So, there seems to be a lot of people that still want to move here and a lot of people that still love the fact that they have moved here. So, what's your thoughts on it, on moving to Spain? I mean, that's I said we would do this video and I would just let you see... Been here 17 years, drove over with 1,500 in my pocket. Wouldn't have been able to do it if we needed all the demands of Brexit. Could never live in the UK now. 
was I was widowed in 2013 and now raised my son by myself. 22 years, love it as much as I did then. You know, is one before Brexit, it was pretty easy to relocate to Spain and buy in Spain with a view to retiring in Spain. Not only looked reasonable from an income point of view, but your assets. That's one of the things that you really need to be thinking about if you're going to move to Spain now. I mean, it's, it is harder, you know, and it's one of those things. But on that note, we absolutely love it. We haven't enjoyed the weather for the last couple of weeks, but that's one of those things. It's sunny again, the cloud will break. You know, it is going to be a fantastic summer. You know, 2022 is going to be a fantastic year as far as we're concerned. You know, things can only get better, as they say. So hope you've enjoyed this video. Yes, it's a kind of, it's a bit of a different video from what we normally do. But all the same, it's let you see that people that are actually here, and you can go and join this group if you look for it on Facebook. You may be in the group already. Drop us a comment and tell us about if you're thinking of buying in Spain, um, would you like to join a Facebook group where we help advise people um, on the, the correct way to do it? There's been a few, few people saying that they would like to find out more. We have teamed up with an FX company purely for the fact that it was they really offer a great deal. There's a couple of other things and people that we're planning on talking to in the next few weeks that is going to let us allow, allow us to do videos that will help people that are thinking about buying in Spain, thinking about moving to Spain in the future. So make sure that you subscribe to the channel and tell me in the comments, are you thinking about moving to Spain? Do you have a holiday home in Spain? And would you still do it after Brexit? And on that note, hasta luego. Thank you.